Hey, what is going on everyone? Today we got another low budget team gameplay. Today we got the Panthers. I'm looking forward to use this one because I think we got some really good studs on our team overall. As you can see there, 82 overall. 85 offense though, so it looks like the offense is going to be our strong point there. Um, but taking a look at the offense here, taking a look at that O-line. Right side's pretty decent. Left side, not so much. Center tackle and guard there on the left side is not great but uh taking a look at our tight end here dan arnold kind of excited to use him 88 speed run blocking is not great but he's got some solid catching stats in one of the main attributes is his height at 6'6 so he should be pretty good for us uh, on the receiving side especially since i do like to throw to my tight ends a lot uh, we also have curtis samuel back uh, if you guys missed him he was in that washington commanders gameplay but he has 95 speed 511 little shorter but still some solid catching stats as well so gonna be targeting him along with uh terrace marshall jr on the other side as you can see there but again qb here if you haven't seen the browns gameplay we did use baker mayfield we did use this card 80 speed uh 87 throw power so should be manageable 6'1", 215 pounds, so he should be able to get the job done. We'll see, though. And we're actually changing it up a little bit. We're using a fullback, uh, Giovanni Ricci, here uh, as our as our halfback. I didn't really have any other Panthers halfbacks uh, at the moment, so I was like, hey, I had this one. Why not put him at halfback? And uh, we'll see how it goes there. Shai Smith as well as our wide receiver three. And then we have Terrace Marshall Jr. 94 speed, so one speed lower there. But look at that jump, though. 98 jump, and he is 6'3". And some more solid uh, catching stats uh, along the board there. So that is our main look at the offense here. Let's go ahead and look at the defense. And yeah, as you can see here, defense is not looking all well we do have thomas davis luke keekley who should be all right for us uh luke keekley there 87 speed on an 85 overall not terrible he is 6'3 as well so 82 zone coverage as well there so he'll be our middle linebacker one there but yeah overall not great a lot of goals as you can see on the team here but brian burns at one of the ends there and eric allen of course uh making his return as well we'll go ahead and take a look at him he is 99 now so that's pretty nice and we did put a lot of abilities on him so again one of the shorter corners but he is on every theme team so can't complain especially when we have 99s now in the game that can just take the top off you so one of our main guys there and also jeremy chin at that free safety spot but let's go ahead and get into the gameplay here as you can see i scum kick it to his fullback and he is gone i mean he's just gone no chance at all and again i will always bring this up in these low budget theme teams it's so risky to kick off because they can easily outrun your team but uh we're on offense here giovanni ricci the halfback slash fullback gets a nice little gain there of nine there but I'm gonna go ahead go to play action here can we find dan arnold maybe he was open and i just ended up getting sacked there that was completely my fault he was definitely open but i just completely missed him let's go ahead maybe try and throw wide but we can't because we get sacked there so we're already in a pretty bad spot here seven to zero and it is fourth and 17 already we're gonna go for it why not i mean he's already up on us and this is the low budget team so might as well try it and we have curtis samuel using that 95 speed take the top off there i knew that was my only play five wide just had to try it let's get a little run here giovanni ritchie Gets a nice little run there, seven yards for him. And let's go ahead, snap the ball here. We're looking and we find Richie again. And he actually sheds a tackle there, getting us a nice gain down to the 29 here. I'm gonna go back into the empty set here. Curtis Samuel maybe on the zig route is open. And we still throw it to him, even though his user was over there. Was testing the user, just had to there. But second and six here, Dan Arnold maybe open. Maybe the zig for Terrace Marshall, we'll see here. Looks like we'll go to Marshall here, and he will get the first for us. Nice little setup there. And Baker throwing some nice passes here. We're, we're driving after a very bad start uh, to this gameplay. We're, we're making it through. We're getting through here. So 
Stepping back to pass here, and we do find Curtis Samuel. Can he get to the end zone? No, he's going to get tackled at about the three there. Almost the end of the first quarter here. And are we going to get those ball off? Here we will. We'll give it to Gillian here, and he won't get in. So it looks like we'll do a little QB sneak here. We will. And we actually don't get it here. Third goal, we have to get it here. And we do. Perfect. That's, low. That's what we love to see there. And it is 7-7. Two, seven. So we're back in it after that really terrible start here. It looks like he's got Lamar Jackson at QB though and throws it right to Thomas Davis, the left outside linebacker there. Off to the races, he sheds a man and he gets all the way down to the 14 yard line. Unbelievable. He's like an 85 overall. So great play. Didn't think that would happen, but Giovanni Ricci here. We actually stiff arm a man into the ground. He has been very solid for us again here, and he gets it again. Gets stacked that time, but he still gets us in first and goal range here. Coming down almost to the two-minute warning. Can we get the touchdown? He gets us about a yard here. We won't quite get there yet. Uh, we'll just QB sneak this in, hopefully. Go a little maybe no huddle. Yep, and we are in. So we take the lead here, 14-7 to before the two-minute warning here. Looks like he's going to do a little run here. I thought he was doing a play action. Looks like he runs with Pacheco there for a good three yards there. And it is officially the two-minute warning. He does find Julio Jones, though, for the first down. Ideally, we want to hold him to a field goal here. He's going to run it, and he's going to get about nine. Oh, eight there. Yeah, again, we tr want to really try and not let him get a touchdown here just so we can keep that lead. Trying to use user Corey Littleton here, and we <laughs> probably should have stayed in our zone because because that ch uh, check down got him a pretty decent amount of yards there. Again, looks like he's going to run here, and we do stop him with about 44 seconds left here. He's throwing it, and we get home. We get the pressure there. Amazing. Third and 13 here. 25 seconds. He launches it. Overthrown there. So fourth 13. He is going for it. Can we stop him though? We're dropping back here and we do. Perfect stop, lovely stop there. 19 seconds though, going on the five wide. I really wanna score here. We do find Samuel though. Let's go ahead and take a timeout here. 15 seconds left, drop back. We do find Samuel again here. But I do believe there's not too much time left here to go down, yep. We start the third quarter here. Start off with a little run here from Giovanni. He's been pretty solid for us uh, in this gameplay here. But let's go ahead, run it again here. Can we get anything? No. We do get pushed forward a little bit. We get stonewalled there. Third and six, third manageable here. Let's see if we can get anything going. We have the real route. We have the zig route as well here. And we do find Dan Arnold. How about Dan Arnold making a play? We'll get all the way down to 41 here. So he sets this up very nicely. Uh, Giovanni Ricci here. Only going to get us a yard here. But I think we'll audible this, probably go to a pass here, maybe look for Dan Arnold on the zig route. Maybe this is a bit of a weird play, so we'll see how this works out here. And we do go to Arnold, who is open here. He's going to hurdle and jump here, and we fumble. I can't believe Dan Arnold sold on us. He was doing so good, and then he let us down with that fumble. He gets the ball back. That is clearly a momentum shift uh, in this gameplay here. Looks like he's got a wide open tight end there in Mark Andrews. So first and 10 for him. I just cannot believe Dan Arnold fumbled on us, man. We were doing so good, and he just got just completely cracked there. Looks like he's got Julio over the middle, though. Hard cuts on us, and he's down to the first down here. Uh, again, drops back, and he finds... Mike Williams he does get popped but again gets a nice game there less than a minute in this third quarter though the game is coming down to the wire it's gonna look like here again we try and drop back here uh, and we do make a tackle but he's already down to the 15 there so unfortunate here might be the last play of the quarter here and Isaiah Pacheco outruns him and he's gonna get down all the way to the four first and goal situation here Pacheco again can't get there this time we do make a nice little stop there so he's only got three yards to go though and Pacheco makes a nice little cut on us and we are a trash belt I guess we are trash we let him score there unfortunate 
17 to 14. The empty has been pretty nice for us today. We'll look for Samuel and we make a nice grab. A little bit of a risky pass there, but we do make a nice grab on that one. Again, coming out in the empty here. Looks like he's usering on that side when I threw to Y. So we find Dan Arnold, though, for a little short route there. Surprised I even threw to him. I mean, I can't believe he sold this game, it looks like, for us. But we still have a chance, though, so we're not giving up. Giovanni Ricci here. Going to hand it off to him. Gets us a nice little gain there of five. And we're coming down to the two-minute warning here. And we're going to run it again. Can we find some blocks? We do. Can we get to the first? We can't. It's going to be third and one here. Maybe look for that zig route. We'll see. And no, we don't. No, we don't. We make a stupid, stupid decision. And we tried to throw the Dan Arnold, and he completely read the route there. So looks like we're going to take the L on this one, unfortunately. Yep, he's going to go ahead and score on us again. So that's gonna, unfortunately going to be the end of the game. Ah, I can't believe I sold that game away. Unfortunate for us. But uh, if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. More on the way. And if you guys haven't seen my previous ones, make sure to go out on my channel and look for those other ones. All right. Thank you guys for watching and see ya.